And we have a web question. It's come in from uh, Deirdre Baker in New South Wales. Peter Singer, in your 2001 article, Heavy Petting, uh, you state that mutually satisfying sexual activities between humans and animals can develop. <laughs> Please explain. <laughs> I wondered if that one would come up. Um, so firstly, um, it was a book review. It wasn't really an article. I was reviewing a book that discussed this issue. I mean, it is a fact that there is sexual contact between some humans and animals. Um, and I was raising the question why we have such a taboo on this. Now, obviously, sometimes it involves cruelty and the infliction of power and dominance on an animal, and clearly I oppose that. But there can be occasions, I don't know, you know, it's a family program, how much vivid description you want, but... Uh, Go if, ahead. If you, OK, so... <laughs> Speak for yourself! Speak for yourself. This is, for yourself, it's, it's, this is really interesting, by the way. I'm clearly not on American television tonight. <laughs> because no American host would have said that. OK, so here's an example. A woman has oral sex performed by her dog. OK? Brings know, new meaning I know, to I know women style. Who, I know women who <laughs> have said that this is, this is something that pleases them. The dog is free to do it or walk away. There's no dominance over the dog. OK? That seems to me harmless if... This if, is a trained dog, if, obviously. If, well, it's, 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 it's her dog who enjoys doing it and sees that, that the dog gives pleasure to the, the companion who the dog lives with, you know? Um, I don't see why we have a huge Sorry, taboo Peter, even over discussing... Sorry, this is just weird. <laughs> yeah. It's just weird. It's, it's not common, but, it's but is it weird. wrong is the question, but right? Jay, this is your territory. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I... <laughs> I'm not... <laughs> let's, let's get a psychiatrist's perspective on this. Well, it, I'm just sitting here thinking now, Freud did say that human beings are polymorphously perverse, which is another way of just saying there are lots of different views that just sometimes you have to draw the line and go, that's weird. But is it wrong? <laughs> would, you, would you want to but cure wrong, a patient wrong or would you want to make what? a patient? So I suppose, I mean, I, I've actually. I'm not going to cure anyone who doesn't want to be cured. Right, exactly. That, that's exactly. the other that's side. The, so since I, since I wrote this little piece, I've had people, sex therapists, come to me and say that they've had uh, patients who were tortured with guilt because they sure. got set some sexual satisfaction from contact with their animals, and their lives were miserable. And they gave them my article, and their art their, that helped them because it helped them to see that other people were doing the same sort of thing. And here was at least somebody who was saying, you know, this is not a sign of terrible moral evil. Oh, I've got a, a Helen Coonan parliamentary sitting week coming up. <laughs> Would you like to get on the record on this? Oh. <laughs> Well, thankfully, uh, I don't answer questions anymore. I ask them, and I don't think I'll be asking this one, Tony. But, um, oh, look, no, look, I agree. I think that's, uh, that's seriously off. And uh, I just can't uh, imagine. I mean, I've got two beautiful golden retrievers. And... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine. I can't imagine. Um, I, I, thought, I thought your party stood for individual freedom. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> amidst, oh, I'm sorry. Amidst the, uh, amidst the hilarity, uh, I don't think everyone heard that Peter said he thought your party stood for individual freedom. <laughs> uh, I just think uh, that it's off the wall and... Uh, I put it this way, um, I'll just continue to, uh, to find the nice patch under my doggy's ear that he likes. <laughs> That's all I'll do. We, we, uh, I'm sorry to say we've run out of time. Uh, please thank... I'm not sorry. Helen Coonan, uh, Peter Singer, Jay Shree Kulkarni, David Maher and Peter Garrett.